Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jeff the Backyard Builder and today I'm going to show you how I upgraded our master bedroom closet space with these easy to assemble tower closet kits. So let's go ahead and get started. So before this upgrade we had those classic wire shelves that just about everyone has in their home they're cheap easy to install the only thing is they don't exactly look the best and with this being our master bedroom we want to class it up a little and giving it a, a refresher and just kind of a facelift as we go so we're trying to make budget friendly updates and we found the closet made tower closet system and i'll post the uh the link to the one that we use down in the description so that you can check it out as well. So the first step of building this closet system was just assembling the towers themselves. So for anyone who's ever bought a piece of furniture from Ikea, this is going to be no problem for you to assemble. It's the same kind of assembly process, the same kind of connections. You slap the bottom, top, and sides together, and then this comes with triangular pieces of cardboard that you kind of nail into the back of the frame just to give it a little bit of reinforcement and keep the closet towers from racking back and forth so that keeps it sturdy. So as we were figuring out the layout and the spacing for our closets, uh, we realized that the shelf towers themselves couldn't sit flush against the back wall because the baseboards along the floor uh, were keeping it out from the wall a little bit. And since we wanted this to give the look of a built-in shelf system, we wanted it to be flush against the back wall and that way nothing, uh, no clothes would fall down the back and there wouldn't be any, anything falling in that awkward little crevice behind the shelves. Um, so the way I fixed this was I, once we found the location of where we wanted that shelf tower to be, I marked out on the baseboard exactly uh, where all the side pieces would line up. And then I took the shelf tower out of the closet. I got my oscillating tool and I notched out the baseboards and it cut out those little strips so that we could just slide the shelf tower back in there and then it was flush against the back wall and it looked way better than if I had had it that half inch out from the wall. It just looked a lot better this way. So once we had everything laid out and I had notched out the baseboards, the next step was to install the shelf tower. Each shelf tower came in two halves, the bottom and top. Uh, so I took the bottom half for each one and slid it into place into the notches we had just cut in the baseboards and fastened it to the back wall with the little brackets that come with the system. And then I put the pegs into the top of the bottom half, which uh, allowed the top half to slot in and it was fastened in place so that it wouldn't just slide off to the side and fall down. So after the shelf tower was fastened and in place, uh, we moved on to the next step, which was mounting the hanging rods. The hanging rods that came with this closet system are the same as any kind of adjustable curtain rod you might get, where there's two halves and one half is slightly smaller, so it sleeves inside the other. That way you can adjust the width of the rod itself. And this worked for all hanging spots in the closet, except for my closet, where I was having that long hanging space because I made that such a small gap even with the rods as short as they would go they were still too long to fit in that gap so I actually had to take both halves and cut them down with a hacksaw so that I could get that hanging rod to fit in that skinnier space for my long hanging items. So the last thing I did was to add a shelf across the top of the closet system just to add a little bit extra storage space for boxes, seasonal clothing items, any, any kind of odds and ends we wanted to tuck up and away and have close by, but not right on hand. It's a great spot to store kind of seasonal items. You can put your sweaters up there in the summer until you're ready to get them back down, anything like that. Just adds a little extra storage space, um, but this does not come with the closet system. So to add the shelf, I didn't do anything fancy. I uh, just had some spare boards laying around from previous projects that I sanded and painted white to match the closet system. And then I laid them across the top. So the center was supported by the, the shelf tower itself. And then on either wall, I just put little runners. Uh, I believe they're one by two boards. 
um, just to give it support on each end. And that was just a little added thing just to give a little extra storage space. Uh, again, it's not necessary, but if you want a little extra storage space, just throw a board up there. Okay, so let's talk about the costs involved in this project. Um, this is a really simple project. There's really only one cost involved and that was buying the closet system itself. Um, the closet system we got was $137. If you decide to throw a shelf across the top like I did, a one by eight board costs $8 and you get a one by two board for $5. So that brings your grand total up to a nice even $150. And because we did two closets, obviously that's 300 for us. But if you look at it as a cost per closet, you have a nice easy $150 per closet. So this is a great way to upgrade your closets. Not a huge time commitment. You don't break the bank. It really updates the look of your closet and just really makes it look nice. Well, there you have it, folks. Thank you for watching, and I hope you uh, found this video helpful in your search for a closet upgrade. Uh, if you have any ideas of something you'd like me to try and show you, or if you have any questions about this project or any of my other projects, please feel free to comment down below. I try to be pretty good about my comments and respond as soon as I can, as soon as I see it, if possible. If you like this video and you like the other videos on my channel, please like and subscribe. It really helps me know what videos you like watching so I know which areas to focus in. Thanks again for watching everyone and we'll see you next time on Backyard Builder.